What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina and we just got finished up with the 2018 Caleb Benfield Challenge. If you've been following us for several years, you'll understand exactly what that is. Caleb Benfield was a fellow firefighter at the department where I'm a member at and he actually lost his life in the line of duty. Well, each year his family puts on what's called the Caleb Benfield Challenge. And it's a great little event where junior firemen from all over come together and they get to do all different types of fire training. Uh, of course, we do scuba training with them. Uh, they get to learn about what we call the med center air here, which is our flight medics in our area. They get to do ladder testing and pump testing, and they really get to immerse themselves in the fire service. They get to practice some of the rescue uh, tactics that we use. They actually get to answer calls with us where they go out to medical calls and fire calls and rescue calls. And it really gets to, it opens up the fire service to them. They get to see what it's all about. Well, each year we do free tri scubas for all the participants. This year was a little bit different because we integrated two more aspects to say that search and recovery, that rescue diving or that public safety diving um, field, if you will. Not only did we do tri scubas with them, we actually integrated some surface water rescue techniques in there and allow them to practice their uh, entry methods where they keep their eyes on the, the victims. We did some throwback techniques with it, but we also let them have fun messing with full face masks because guys, that's what it's all about. We wanted to do more than just teach them how to blow bubbles underwater. We actually let them play with full face masks, get the underwater comms going, and they can kind of see exactly what a public safety diver gets to do. Uh, they practice their communication skills as far as how we key up on the, on the mic systems and all that. But everybody had a great time. I'm gonna show you some quick clips real quick, uh, and then I'll kind of give you some final thoughts and tell you how you can get involved with events just like this. And he's got to look at the three engines out here to make sure there's no cracks in the three. If, if, if any of that is a no-go, this tank's condemned. You can't ever use it again. Okay. Alright, so on these things, if you guys are ever having trouble breathing underwater, this right here is called a crack pressure. It determines how easy it is and how hard it is to breathe. If you turn this to you, it makes it harder to breathe. It's called it's righty tighty lefty loosey. If you tie it to the right, it'll make it hard to breathe. If you turn it to the left, it'll make it easy to breathe. And always remember, don't ever face down and look straight down or this thing will start to free flow. And you will feel it. Okay. Uh, try to stay away from the sling. Yeah, yep. See y'all there. You know. No. We we got to use plain text to get it as simple down the earth as we can because you can see the communications. Now I know we're pretty close together, and these things when they get real close, they create a lot of static. But to have it sound on, on the surface. Uh, I could hear Colby pretty good, and he at first. As soon as he would press the button, he would start talking. And yeah. He wouldn't wait a second. And then at the end, he was talking too fast, and I couldn't. Remember yeah. Him. That's what I started copying. So you see what I'm saying? So that's that's the reason he wanted you to repeat it. Because if you get you get to talking real quick, it just like it's just a mumble. So these things are real clear. See, what you got to understand is we're on the surface, and you barely can't hear on the surface. But whenever you go under water, okay. Have you guys been able to get an emergency signal back and forth to each other in the water? Have you ever seen that? Okay. Well, let me start the mask back and I'll show you a little trick. Surface to diver one. Repeat.
surface to diver one. Copy that. Anytime you need to keep eyes on the victim, you're going to keep your eyes directly on them. Do not take your eyes off that victim. We always need a last point seen. So when you jump in, the last thing we want is our head to go under. So when you get in the water, pretend my arms are my legs. They need to be separate. The second your feet touch, go ahead and kick like this. You take your arms from this position, and you're going to press down at the same time as soon as you're submerged. This keeps your head out of the water so you can keep visual contact with your victim. Now show them how it's done. See how his head never went under the water? Hit that jaw. Perfect. He touched the ground. There's no way he has it. Alright, see if you can do it. Go. <laughs> That's great if they're on the bottom. Alright, you want to try? Oh, you're still doing it. Kobe, you want to try? Well, yeah, I'll try. Good. So there you go guys, as you can see, everybody had a blast. Uh, the participants actually learned something. Um, you know, we really enjoy this event every year. We enjoy giving back to them. Not only do we give back simply because it was one of our brothers in the fire service that passed, just because we also enjoy giving back to the public service. All the sacrifices that are made by police, fire, and EMS personnel, we really enjoy giving back to them. So that's why we do this every year. I want to give a huge shout out to the Benfield family. The, these guys are absolutely awesome. There's not a single member in the family that's not a public servant. Uh, Caleb's dad, who is also not only one of our fire captains and a chaplain in our department, he's also a local detective at one of our sheriff's departments. So the entire family gives so much to our community. The community actually wanted to give back to them. And like I said, we do this to give to the junior firemen to show them what the fire service and the rescue service and the EMS service and what the police field is all about. So we thoroughly enjoy giving back to them for this. But check out your local volunteer fire departments and see how you can donate to them or how you can help them out. Uh, and if you're interested in the fire service, grab an app, fill out an app and join the service. But guys, as always, I really appreciate you watching this video. If you liked it, simply hit that like button for me. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.